y'all so this video i am super super excited about to even be recording today because y'all don't know how long i wanted to do this video i wanted to do this video forever like literally forever because i struggle with drinking water like i'm telling y'all i didn't been to the hospital maybe about like three times for being dehydrated not in this year at least it was like last year or whatever but i'm trying to really work on that so i really feel like if you are somebody that struggle with drinking water this video would be beneficial to you but i'm not going to keep rambling i'm just going to give y'all five tips because i don't want this video to be too long of ways that i feel can help you drink water or that have helped me so without further ado let's get into the video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we're out let's get into this video so the first 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 tip that i want to give is to start off slow start off slow literally like i'm literally repeating that because if you somebody that like me that you really really struggle with drinking water start off slow meaning don't necessarily just jump into water if you you know if you struggle with that because for some reason for me i just feel like water is so like i don't i don't like the taste people say that doesn't have a taste but to me it does definitely start off slow and when i say that i mean start off with flavor water or water with lemon in it cucumber in it lime in it mint leaves like stuff like that where you're just adding a little bit of flavor to your water because believe it or not you still are getting water even if you start off with sparkling something like that will help so that's the first tip that i would give start off slow with adding flavor to your water for my second tip this is really like you would not believe it but it's really like a brain thing keep a cute water bottle like you can have a cute water bottle and that will help you because you want to carry it around with you more. You want to have it around with you more. You want to have it by you because you like the way it looks. And that definitely does help. Um, I can give y'all some examples of what I'm saying because I do have a lot of different water bottles. One, you can do something like get you a Stanley cup, which, you know, people like to carry around as an accessory. And that will help you drink more water because you constantly have this item around you cute water bottles an example of a cute water bottle is something like this like this is something i literally saw i think in shot right and because the water bottle was so cute i'm like i have to get this water bottle and that makes me actually drink more water um i also got it y'all even in three different other colors so stuff like that actually does help you to want to drink more water because the bottle was cute and you just want to have it with you all the time I definitely say treat your water as an accessory have it with you everywhere you go also something like this like this is gatorade water so i'll be wanting to like try different types of waters if it looks cute i just like the bottle like that's the number one key um one of my most like new ones that i tried that i really like um saratega this is also water i believe is it's spring still water so this is something that i really just love having with me because i love the bottle like when it looks like a wine bottle or something like it's too cute so that's what i mean when i say and look at this this is 28 fluid ounces and i already drunk like i don't know if you guys can tell but i already drunk all the way down to here because the bottle is just cute so it's like i want to just constantly keep drinking it and this water is nice and smooth that's what i do so for tip number three i would say find a water that you like because believe it or not all waters don't taste the same and they have i'm not going to say different textures but some waters are smoother than others and I, li I like more of a smoother water where it just goes down easy i don't know if that's making sense to you guys but something like fiji that's one of the smoother ones to me the saratega I don't know if I said that right. That's also smooth. It's really smooth. Like, it's easy to drink because it just goes down so easy. So find a water that you like. Try different waters and see which one you like the best. And whatever one you like the best, you know, choose that one. And that, that will also help you drink more water. As I mentioned with the flavor water, another good example would be something like this. So, sorry, I had the box back. So, it's, so a few options you can go with when it comes to flavor water is having regular water that you add flavor to meaning you put lemons in it or mint leaves cucumber lime whatever you prefer or you can just actually buy flavor water 
or you can uh, buy like a sparkling water. Still, it's still better to drink that and you're still gonna get water from it. But something that I felt has helped me, this is a new one, but I have used this before. So it's just a water bottle. I know you guys probably seen this. It's just a water bottle. It comes with flavor. And this is another way to help you drink water because when you, this has zero sugar. And when you drink it, it this the flavor is a filter. And when you drink it, it puts that flavor in your mouth. But you're really still drinking water. You'll fill this bottle up with water and you'll put this cartridge or this one. This is fruit punch. So you'll put the fruit punch filter. And as you're drinking it, you're tasting the fruit punch. But in reality, you're really drinking water. So this is something that I would recommend when I say starting, starting small. Don't just jump into it if you really do struggle with drinking water. And this is still a better alternative than soda or juice or something like that. And that's really what my problem is. I just drink way too much soda than I should. For tip number five it's a mixture of two things get a water tracker and set an alarm for water there's literally apps on the app store all different apps that you could try i will put the one that i use right here but there's a whole bunch of different ones so what i like to do is i'll track my water for the day because you are supposed to be getting a certain amount of water in your body every day i will put a water calculator down below so you'll know exactly how much water you're supposed to be taking in for your body but yes track your water because if you track the water it just gives you a peace of mind like oh hey i drank two bottles today i drank three bottles today especially if you're like me and you struggle and you're starting off small it definitely helps and it helps you to like have a goal that you want to reach so that definitely helps um set an alarm goes hand in hand with the water tracker because it's like a reminder to let you know, hey, drink water, did you drink your water today? Hey, drink water, did you drink your water today? So I really find that helpful as well too because when I see that notification on my phone, it does make me say like, maybe I should have a water right now. Especially if I'm drinking like a juice or something at that moment when I see it, I will literally be like, okay, I'm gonna get a water. So definitely set an alarm they literally have apps, and I believe you can set an alarm in the water tracker app. So those two definitely go hand in hand. I would say soon as you wake up, and this is something that has helped me, drink a cup of water or a bottle, whatever you prefer. But just drink that as soon as you wake up or even after you brush your teeth. Because I know sometimes people like that minty, tingly type of water thing, like icy cool feeling. So either when you first wake up or soon as you brush your teeth, because if you think about it, one, is hydrating you for the day. Two... You're getting your water in before you even start your day. So I would definitely recommend that. Definitely as soon as you wake up, cup of water, bottle of water. Because that automatically will already start you to drinking the amount of water that you need to drink in that day. Now, don't let that only be the only water you drink. But I'm just saying that has helped me to drink soon as I wake up. If none of the other tips that I gave you work for you, you can always take this route. I don't believe, I really feel like this is not easy for, I'm not going to say beginners, but people that struggle with it, this tip is not the easiest. That's why I put it as just last. You can set three cups of water a day just to, if you struggle and you're trying to just drink more water, because you're really supposed to drink more than three cups a day. But if you're just starting out and you struggle and you're just trying to actually get more water into your body, set a time that you're going to drink three cups of water a day. So it could be breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or it could be in between that time or whenever you choose. But just make sure you have three cups or three bottles of water a day no matter what. I, like I said, to me this is the hardest tip. So that's why I put it last because I feel this one is not easy to do if you already struggle with water. Because you're not going to randomly just say, hey, I'm going to have this many cups of water. So I would say... You could try this tip first if you would like, but if you start struggling, then just try the other ones. But this one is not actually easy. It wasn't easy for me. It might be for you, but this is the last, like this is my last resort because there's no, there's no reminder. There's no cute water bottle. It's just, you're literally telling yourself to drink water. And I feel at that point, if you can drink three bottles a day with no problem, then you don't really struggle with it. So that's why I'm just like, I don't really know if that's a helpful tip. But I put it as a last tip just for some people that they might could just jump right into it and just make sure they set either set an alarm on their phone or set a certain time like, okay, I'm going to drink three bottles of water a day.
you know okay guys so that is the end of the video it sums up all the tips i hope that these tips can help you i also just want to put it out there i am not you know a nutritionist i'm not any of that these are just tips that i thought would maybe help somebody else and that's why i wanted to share them i thought by sharing five tips that helps me drink water might help you so hopefully that is what I intend this purpose of the video to be and I hope that it does help other people and let me know if it do but like I said before don't quote me on anything because I'm just telling you the tips that work for me which may work for you it may not who knows but I just want to let you guys know that none of this stuff is like proven facts or something like you know I'm not a nutritionist so I'm just trying to basically give advice and tips that I felt helped me to drink more water and maybe it might help you too I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that the five tips do help you. Let me know down in the comment section below if it did because I would love to know if they did help you. These are five tips that I try to use. As I said before, I do struggle with not drinking water which results into dehydration. So let me know, you know, if these tips help you. Also, let me know if you guys like this video because I can do, you know, a longer version with more tips. So, if you guys do like this video, I will be uploading another one. But I have wanted to do this video for so long because it's just so important to make sure that you're getting enough water. Like, that's so important. Like, your body is made up of 90% of water. Literally. Like, so, I scratched it. Not 90, but you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, without further ado... Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Mm, do you have a moment? And this very second, I know you feel the beat.